been a rat hunter for over 15 years. One of the questions I get often is, can I get a rat inside my toilet? Or how do they get in my sewer system? Well, I'm gonna answer that right now. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you something to keep them damn things from coming into your sewer system. So stay tuned, we're gonna do that right now. I hope you like that rat impersonation there, but if you don't like it, then just go ahead and leave your comments and let me know that that was just stupid and ridiculous. Don't ever do that again. But if you do like it, you can leave a comment too. And more importantly, if you can subscribe, that would help me and motivate me to go ahead and produce great content. So let's get right into... So 15 years I've been hunting these things down. I get a lot of homeowners calling me actually all over the country going, God, I've got these rats coming into my bathroom. They're in my walls, they're in my attic. I don't know how they're getting in. I've spent thousands of dollars with pest control companies who have done everything with sealing off every nook and cranny in my home, but I'm still getting a real life video of what I thought is just absolutely hilarious, but frightening at the same time. Check this out. <laughs> so it jumps out of the toilet. So that proves my point. They can get in your toilet. And as you heard, came from the sewer system. So what I wanted to do is show you the next video on how they're getting from the city sewer into the home, up into the toilet. It's fascinating. A rat in the toilet. It's scary, but it does happen. How does this ultimate rat invasion actually occur? Come on. A rat might consider this path an irresistible opportunity for exploration. Its sharp claws allow the rat to Crazy scale almost how any they vertical grab surface. And crawl up things. The rat is in the home's internal pipes, going up. Now it faces the biggest test, getting through the last few feet of the narrow, maze-like toilet pipes. Is this even possible? The underwater passage leaves no room for error. At a turn, the rat finds a pocket of air, just enough to help it push on to the end of the line. How does it collapse its body like that? Take a look at this rat's attempt to get to the other side of the tiny hole. If a rat can fit its head through an opening, the rest is easy because of its internal acrobatics. At the spine, the ribs are hinged, allowing them to effortlessly collapse. How does the rat deal with all that water? What if someone flushes? We think of rats as land animals, but it turns out they're expert swimmers. Three minutes underwater. Hi guys, so you could see how easy and flexible they are to get inside that toilet, but they've gotta be able to get into your sewer system in order to get to the, your toilet. So here is my twin brother and I in action underneath the crawl space right at the beginning of the sewer system before it feeds all the bathrooms. Clean out cabinet at the four inch of the crawl space and immediately we uh, had an odor of rodent like a dead, a dead rat. Right. So, uh, so sometimes it, you can remove your clean out cap and smell in there and you might be able to get a sense of urine or that rodent smell just by sniffing the sewer line. 
That really, if you're especially if you're dealing with a pest control company, just ask them, hey, do you mind smelling my sewer system just to see if you get a sense of that urine or rodent smell. So what we've done there, folks, is we've capped off the sewer line, we pumped smoke into the system, and we were able to identify any breaks of sewer vent pipes inside the home. In this particular home, we found a vent system in the attic that was completely broken and snapped off. So what happened was the rats were getting inside, crawling up the sewer and vent system was rat droppings, they were getting inside the walls. So once we fixed all of that, the homeowner never wanted that issue again. So that leads me into the ultimate solution, and that is installing a backflow valve. And that's going to be installed right here. So let me take you to a video on what that looks like so you can get a visual perspective as to how that really stops these rats from getting into your sewer system as well as your toilet. So let's show you that right now. So this is how it works. It's basically a valve that allows the water to flow. So when you're flushing a toilet, running a sink, a shower, the water is flowing in this direction. It allows the water. Then there's a door that shuts. When the sewer system is off and not operating or flowing water, then there's no way that those rats or rodents are gonna be able to get inside your home. All right, so let's go over the downside to these backflow valves. The downside is if you use too much paper, the door sometimes gets lodged and it won't operate and you'll get a backup. The other is you can't run a cable down most of them because what will happen is the cable, when you go to retrieve the cable, the door will catch on. So those are some of the cons. I'll show you this one made by Mainline Products. You can see there was blades on the end of that cable. Now they're bringing it back. That's pretty cool. And uh, that really does make a difference so you don't have to worry about getting into your check valve and having to deal with that every time. Now this check valve is not made for every property. It really does well when you have a crawl space, you have plenty of access to your sewer system. That's really the best application probably wondering what does something like this cost to get installed well the parts not that expensive so depending on accessibility we've done them as low as about $400 and as high as about $3,500 that does require opening up concrete depends on the depth but that'll give you an idea well hopefully folks this gave you some entertainment and some peace of mind as to what you can do to prevent those rodents and if you like this video, please leave your comments. Truly helps us out to build our channel and provide better value of content. And the next video does show you the process of how we actually get to finding these rats using our UV smoke. So take a look at that video.